Have you heard about the new podcast called Rideshare Dojo with the host, yours truly, Jay Crater? That's right. Harry and I started a new podcast called Rideshare Dojo, and uh, it's up and running. And in this video, what I'm going to share with you are the seven steps, the seven steps I had to take in order to go from an idea to having this podcast, which is by a driver for drivers, up and running. And stick around at the end of the video, the last step, I'm going to share with you who became our first sponsor uh, for this podcast. Hey everybody, it's Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. And uh, today we're going to talk about podcasts. So there's two things I really love about being a driver. One is listening to a lot of great music, right? I really have gotten into like John Coltrane, uh, Dexter Gordon lately, Bill Evans, a lot of really cool jazz artists and podcasts. We have some amazing podcasts, great information that we can listen to and learn things about. And I've always thought, hmm, I think I could do that. I think I could do a podcast. So I signed up for a course and I went through a bunch of steps. And what I'm gonna lay out are the seven steps that I took over a seven week period in order to get the podcast up and running. The podcast is called Rideshare Dojo with Jay Crater. Step number one is you need to come up with a name a description of the podcast and an audience, the group of people that you're gonna go out and reach. So in my case, I, I wanted to reach rideshare drivers, and not only rideshare drivers, but anybody who's in the gig economy. That's why you'll see if you've been a listener, um, I talk a lot about being an entrepreneur and a lot of tools that, that are available uh, to help people come up with their plan B, right? And then I came up with a description. So the description is, this is your ultimate source for rideshare drivers and passengers with news, interviews, inspiration, and entertainment. Join veteran driver Jay Crater three years and over 23,000 rides as he shares tips and techniques to help you make more money in less time. Enjoy interviews with industry leaders, hear from Jay's passengers who share their Uber and Lyft stories, hear from other drivers who share their stories and lessons from the road. Start your day off where drivers and passengers gather right here at the Rideshare Dojo. Step number two was learning all about editing, right? Editing. How do you uh, take the, uh, the audio and edit it so that it makes sense, so that the sound levels are where you need them to be, and all of that. So you gotta learn how to use an app called Audacity, which is a free app. And uh, I've used it in the past a little bit, so this part of the process was pretty smooth for me. Step number three was creating the artwork. So there's a square that's uh, uh, your artwork and you can see mine right right there. And you gotta come up with what's called an intro and an outro. So when you listen to the podcast, and I'll uh, invite you to listen to it, you can listen to it wherever podcasts are available, iTunes, the podcast app, Stitcher, um, and um, Spotify. These are all places where you can get, you can get the, um, the podcast. So what I did is I wrote up a script for the intro and the outro and then I found this great guy on Fiverr and uh, he put the music to it and his voice is really a deep kind of voice and he made these really great intros and outros. So if you listen to the podcast you'll hear the intro in the beginning and then you'll hear the outro at the end. Step number four was to start doing some interviews. So I made a list of uh, my top 10 interview guests. My number one interview would have been Anthony Bourdain but he's not with us anymore. Number two is Jimmy Page, lead guitarist for Led Zeppelin. Probably not gonna get that in this lifetime. But I had to also schedule my first interview, which I did with Harry the Rideshare Guy Campbell. So you wanna make a list of people that you can call to set up uh, to see if, ask them if they wanna be guests. And I've done now almost 30 episodes and about 20 of those were with guests. Step number five is you gotta um, sign up with a service. Now the service I use is called Simplecast. And what Simplecast allows me to do is upload um, an episode and then it automatically goes out to iTunes. It automatically goes out to Stitcher. It automatically goes out to Spotify. So you just upload it the one time and you're good. Step number six is looking for uh, drivers. Most people do want to be on a podcast. And if you are a driver out there and you've got a story to tell, Go to my website, rideshareDojo.com, and there's a form, and you can fill it out and tell me your story and give me some contact information, and maybe I'll have you on the podcast. Step number seven, seven, was to find a sponsor. 
so nobody likes to work for free. Although most podcasts are not sponsored. Uh, there's literally, I don't know if there's millions, but hundreds of thousands of podcasts out there. And most of them are not uh, sponsored. People just have something they want to share and they want to create a form, a portal where they can get their, their voice out there. Um, but Harry and I very much wanted to have a sponsor. And we had just this natural uh, connection with the Fair for Uber car program. This is a program that I used and I was very happy with it. And I've referred other people to it and they're very happy with it. And Fair was very interested in what we're doing because we're reaching out to drivers. And that's exactly who they want to reach. And since I've been doing this a long time, I can make a recommendation because I've actually used it. That is the most powerful kind of advertising that you can do. So what are the key takeaways? Podcasts are awesome. If you think you have something you want to say, it's not that difficult to get a podcast up and running. It took me about seven weeks. And now I've, I've almost got 30 episodes out there. They, they last about 30 to 40 minutes. And it's really wonderful. It's one of the most exciting things that I do. Um, I, I really love talking to people and, and having a conversation and then sharing that with all of the drivers out there. So my key takeaway is podcast rock and go check out the Rideshare Dojo with J Creator Podcast. And if you can, go to iTunes and um, give, it a, give it a five-star rating and write a nice comment. Go listen to a few episodes and then share how much you liked it. That would be really great. Hey, uh, this is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. Uh, if you like this video, great. Um, subscribe to our channel. We put out great content uh, three, four, five times a week. And if you're a driver and you want to stay up to date with everything, go for it. Subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of the team. Go go and have a great day. Be safe out there.